All right, well, if you spent too much money during the holidays, maybe cooking at home would save you a few dollars. Yeah, or if you ate too much. <laughs> you know, eating it, healthier. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's tough that, you know, when you go out to eat and you extra 1,000, 2,000 calories, you could save by doing it at home, Brad. Yeah, and you know what? The other thing, too, is cooking with some of the uh, things you have there, and that's where they do actually a cooking class here at Great News with the wok. And I was just saying, I was saying I think about 95% of the homes uh, have woks in them that are not used because people, Catherine, do not know how to cook in them. And that's where you actually have a series here because it's starting that season, cooking classes going on. Right. We have our basic series that I teach here at Great News, and we do a stir fry, fry, and deep fry class within that series. And it's just so much fun. But the wok is a wonderful tool that you can use to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can make omelets, you can make soup. You can do, of course, stir fry, but uh, that's what we're doing today here. I've got some soba noodles, which are a really beautiful little quick cooking buckwheat noodle. Very, very healthy, and they only cook in about four minutes and uh, add a lot of nutrition to your dish. This is chicken with a little bit of ginger and garlic that we've gone ahead to start to stir fry. You can either remove this then from the wok or you can go ahead and push it to the one side and start to saute or stir fry your vegetables, which we're going to do. But I'd love to add more ginger. Would you mind smashing some more? You got, for me? look at that. I love this. This is some ginger. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's almost like, you know, Notre Dame taking on Alabama tonight. Oh, I don't know who, you know, I don't want to say anything, but. That could be Alabama, that ginger there. But as we did that, that's really cool. All these stuff here actually have here at Great News, too, that they can get, you know, they are looking for ways to cook with a wok or want certain uh, cooking utensils. Definitely. We have every cooking utensil that you absolutely need. Uh, the wok that I'm using right now is a nonstick wok so that it's healthier. You can really eliminate a lot of the oil that might be needed here for cooking. And, uh, you know, we've got all different types of everything. So a um, little bit of Napa cabbage going in here. We've got snap peas. And we're going to add to this some sauce. I've got tamari here, which is a low sodium, really wonderful soy sauce. Cool. Mixing that with some honey. It's all, now, I have a question about the classes sure. as you're putting this all together. When they come into the classes, I mean, it could be a family thing you could do, individual and stuff, but you're giving them the basics, so it's not just coming in and going, okay, throw all this together. You actually walk them through everything they need. Yes, absolutely. Going from step by step, everything they need, including talking about tips and quick things that will add to their um, really enjoyment of the cooking process at home with their families. And uh, not only that, we actually give them a taste of everything we make. So it's really perfect, it. much it, better than television in terms of the, you know, <laughs> cooking the channels and yeah. things like that. And of course, it's a great way to save money and that is cooking at home in a family way. And of course, that's what we're talking about. People trying to save money in different ways. One, of course, is cooking at home and that's where great news comes in with some great classes for you to take to learn. It's kind of fun and getting the kids involved. That's a big thing. Uh, David and Alexis, I like the pics from Tom already. So Tom, I'll, I'll you know I like you something. But hey, the sweater really quick here. Are yeah. you ready for this? Mm -hmm. The sweater is 25 years old. Uh, my freshman year of college at Holy Cross Junior College in Notre Dame, I went to uh, Chicago South Shore, got this sweater yeah. uh, in Chicago uh, from the Gap, and it was really cool. And <laughs> look at that, I've worn it what? back in 1989. <laughs> <laughs> when they were at the Fiesta Bowl and took national champions. So today the sweater it's will be lucky on. Sweater. It, oh, it's a lucky sleeves. sweater. has not oh been really God. fixed at all. <laughs> yeah. So it's not. Wow. It, so yeah. That was this a big is the lucky. So tonight, it looks like <laughs> I got it fight? on. What and, happened? And, and, so no, actually, this is this is from going to, of course, uh, Bridget's, uh, going to the Commons, going over to the linebacker, going uh, to tailgating. Uh, those are all the <laughs> we're people. Confused. It, <laughs> What'd you say? Bridget Nasos? <laughs> no. no. Bridget was the Bridget was the bar like by, by school. Oh, okay. And then oh. of course uh, I will have the McCree's mug and those Notre Dame people know what McCree's is. Okay. I, I actually I'm not gonna lie, I stole the McCree's mug but before, mm. before I left school. So I have that for <laughs> So, All right. There you go. We got Can't it going wait. on today. Wow. Yeah. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. David, you know what, David? If I lo if Notre Dame wins, uh -huh. you have to wear the sweater for a little bit on TV. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. And if, they, and then if Notre if, Dame wins, if Bama wins, I'll think of something. Okay. I'll think of something. You got it. All right. All right. Thanks, Brad.